I'm always on the hunt for wind design apps that look and feel nice and make my life easier and fun. In this video, I'll share some of my recent favorite Mac apps that I love using every day. And most importantly, I have some free invites for the invite-only applications that I would want to share. I have linked down a Google form where you need to fill in your name, email, and which app invite do you wish to receive. I'm doing this because this is the only way I can share invites with you. Okay? With that, let's start the video. First on the list is Cron Calendar. I've been a Google Calendar user for the longest time. But when I came across Cron Calendar, I knew this is something that I would love to use. And I was lucky enough to get early access. Cron looks clean, it is well designed, and it has some handy features like share availability. On the keyboard, I can just click S, block the available slots, and share it. And anyone can book these slots in the given time. I spend quite some time in online and offline meetings. And I need to share my calendar slots with a lot of people. So this feature comes really handy. By using the shortcut control, command J, you can join any meeting from any app, which in my opinion is very nice because I need to join a lot of meetings. It also has a command center where you can quickly do things by hitting command K on your keyboard. I still wish if Cron could have some additional features like Fantastical does, like the natural language processing and the menu bar widget. But for now, I like to use Cron as my calendar app. Next on the list is Superhuman. I've tried a bunch of email client apps like Spark, HeyMail, Edison Mail, but Superhuman is the fastest and the most expensive email app I've ever used. Superhuman is designed to help you get to inbox zero. The design is clean, minimal, and clutter-free. This just looks very calm in comparison to the native Gmail app. When a new email arrives, it goes in the unread section. Once you open the email, you can quickly reply to the email by pressing the enter key. In case you would want to reply to the email at a later time, you can use the reminder feature. You just need to press the H key on your keyboard and set the reminder. And the email will arrive at the set time. This feature is also handy to set follow-up reminders. The keyboard shortcuts are easy to learn and make the entire workflow very fast. You can have email templates or email snippets, which essentially means you can have templates for quick responses. And you don't have to type the entire email every time. You can see if the receiver has opened the email or not, which is extremely fun and very spy-like. Adding labels is very fast and easy. So Superhuman is extremely expensive in my opinion and I do understand that a lot of people would not be able to uh, opt for Superhuman. But I get a lot of emails every day so I don't mind the cost. But I understand that Superhuman is not for everybody. So the best alternative to Superhuman is Spark. Hey guys, so I'm working with Superhuman to get free invites for my audience. And if that happens, I'll add the free trial link in the description. Now enjoy the rest of the video. Bye! So next on the list is Things3. Like the email app, I've tried a lot of to-do apps as well, but all had their limitations. But Things3 is just the best. Things3 is one of the best designed and developed apps that I've ever used in my life. Hands down, one of the best designed and developed products. There are three things that I love about Things3. The app has a beautiful and minimalistic design that makes it easy to use and navigate. Things allows you to organize your tasks and projects in a variety of ways, including tags, areas, and projects. So for simplicity, I have set up two areas. One is for work and the other one is personal. So for example, I can add YouTube as an area and inside that I can have all my different projects or my different videos planned. And for every video, I can have multiple tasks that I can add. And one thing that I really like about things is that it has a due date feature or a deadline feature. So I can have a separate when date and a separate deadline. You can enter new to-dos into things from anywhere without having to switch the apps. So when I press option plus N, this window appears and I can quickly add a task here. One feature that I really love about Things is Mail to Things. So you can send or forward emails directly to the Things app. This video is not about how to use Things, so this, this is just an overview of what all you can achieve through Things, but I really love Things. Okay, so next on the list is Arc Browser. Okay, so with all honesty, I haven't used Arc a lot because of my computer's processing power, and I feel that Arc requires a lot of GPU power, or it is designed for the M1 or M2 MacBooks. So it does not really work well on my 2020 model Intel chip, but basically Arc is a new kind of browser that allows you to do some cool things and looks really nice and clean. Anyway, I have five Arc invites that I can share with you, so do let me know in the Google form if you're interested in trying it. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, because it helps reach more people. Cool, thanks for watching, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.